Eco World, creating tomorrow and beyond. So guys, I'm here at, I don't know, I passed by Orchard Road just now. So here we're at Tan Square. This building, you can only see it from far, but basically it's like a vending machine and the cars there. So initially he said he, he, he'll load our cars up uh, for us to take picture or, or drone shots. So, so uh, later we'll head on to another one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yep. whereby we uh, about six seven years ago we bought a, a land from a customer of ours and then after that we thought that you know we want to bring our dream car showroom yeah and then after that continue to think about how to solve this problem because no other solution the architect said oh you know you talk to neighbor like you buy a formula i said i cannot afford to yeah and i'm sure also the neighbor will not want to give in to, to things like this so from there, we have to find the solutions. Yeah. And then how to find the solutions? You know, after a few months of, of researching and all this, I say, hey, why don't I go vertical? You know? So I thought, wow, oh, oh. going vertical was a good solution. The next day I go and look for my architect. I say, hey, yeah, I found an idea. I can solve my problem by going vertical. You this mean? was your first hour? Yeah, first hour. Ah. So I was so happy, but he looked at me and said, Gary, I think you sell. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> when you people do a car showroom that is upward like this, yeah. how do you see the car? Yeah. You know, so from there I said, yeah, I know it's a problem, but anyway, I have to live with the problem and I have to think of other ways to handle it. Mm. So one day I brought uh, uh, my son, that was about a month plus ago, my other son, you know, he, he was around his age, the yeah. elder uh, son, to Toys R Us to shop for toys. Then suddenly he stopped in front of the Formica. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the thing. So I was like looking at it. I was like, I think I found a solution. I feel Whoa. exactly the same, but looks like looks like Next Formica, Xbox, uh, mm. but this time it's for a real come then uh, car, car display. You know? awesome. So we designed to that, and then of course uh, I'm in the uh, IT, and mm. then this is a family business. So we we have a lot of. Uh, older brothers and me also getting older you know and and our business unfortunately is not specific to hmm. certain brand or certain era ours is like it's as old as uh, uh, our great grandfather to, to 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 the earliest youngest one so yeah. a lot of us are not catching up the the specs and the models and all this a lot so what what we do is that we are thinking that hey can we design something that can leverage on tech and leverage on this kind of digitizations to help us so oh. that's where we came up with the idea of vending machine. You know, so we mm. hope that one touch, you know, let the video the, or the content that is already in the web to, 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 to API with what we are trying to call for the car, mm. do the selling. Or if not, if we really don't have the content, like later I will be presenting one to you. Okay. Uh, uh, my professional drone, <laughs> buyer, editor, come everything is bow. It's helping <laughs> me, so I thought it was a good moment for us to share <clears throat> how we create this content mm. to pair with it and the concept of car vending machine and right. the other thing that I was also a bit uh, caught by surprise I, I wasn't a, a fan of uh, social media mm. you know? so social media to me is like ah you pay money you get a lot of heat and all this so yeah. I wasn't a fan of that so I was being approached by a friend of mine that he said hey, I got a, a, a friend that is in Facebook uh, uh, online media I want to feature your place you know and all this so uh, do you want to do that I said I, I haven't really thought about that and I I never even have a press kit or do something like this yeah so I, then he said just do it I consider a pre-launch I said okay la, since it's a pre-launch uh, we'll do it and let's do it so we three of us him uh, uh, a drone uh, uh, guy and, and me three mm. of us we are like trying to find all the nice angle to shoot and all this so he edited the video uh, and and on Sunday we, we did it on Wednesday or, or Tuesday or something. Like that. Then on Sunday he called me up. He said, "Yeah, he called me and he said, hey, Gary, I already edited the video. I sent to you. Uh. I sent to you. You see it. If it's if it's if it's no objection, I will shoot it. Yeah. So when he sent to me, uh, no, 
I saw the video, I was having dinner with my sons and, and, and wife. So, I see the video of my hair standing up. So oh, uh, I said, wow, it looks more beautiful than I can imagine because of the drone effect. And yeah, yeah. So, I said, go ahead and shoot it. So, when he shoot it, within like a few minutes, uh, wow, 300 views. Mm. So, then, after that, within, I was like, wow. Looks like it's quite hot. Like. <laughs> thousand over. Uh. Then I look again, eleven thousand. Uh. It's within my meal. So I start calling him. I say, hey, uh, oh, looks like the social media they like. The <laughs> <laughs> and I say, hey, maybe let's see tomorrow. We probably will see fifty thousand or something like that. I'll yeah. He said, hey, let's hope for more. Uh. So after that, my wife said, hey, la 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 la. The stop dreaming. This not 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 share price or whatever. You know. Uh. You know? But he said, he said, he said, no, continue to eat and then accompany the kids to sleep and all this mm. uh, because we need to go to school tomorrow. So I accompanied them. I, I never put my phone and all this. Then I fell asleep. Then when I wake up, I go shower. I said, I, I haven't showered. I went shower. When, while showering, I said, wow, I wonder how it goes. You know? Yeah, yeah. So when I wrap my towel straight away, the first thing I take out my phone, I look at it. 88,000. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. You know, then the next day, Morning, uh. happy like wake up very early. Well, I start checking on book. Well, hundred over thousand, hundred like hundred and fifty thousand. I start calling my brother and say, "Wow, well, looks like the people like this content." Yeah, this oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. I drove, reached my office, uh. two hundred over thousand. And the wow. next thing, my my colleagues start, or my sisters or my colleagues start asking me like, "Hey, Gary, there's a." CNN calling you, uh, <laughs> you know, there's uh, Reuters, uh, oh. Japan TV, they want to do a story about you. So I answer the phone, uh, you know. then it's like, do you have a press kit, you know, mm. can you email a press kit? So for me, like, oh, I never really have a press kit, I don't know how to do a press kit. <laughs> so I call up my friend who is a media guy, I yeah. said, hey, uh, they are asking me for press kit, what should I do? So my mind, this media friend said, I. Don't worry lah, you just tell a story, they know what to write one lah, you know, no press you are not a formal organization or something like that. Yeah. So I say, okay, I tell the story. And guess what? It went more and more viral until uh, the whole Facebook post uh, become like a few million hits within yeah. four days, you know. So so with that, I say, wow, shit, man. I think the power of social media is really crazy. Yeah. And, and that's where, you know, and I, uh, during the time, I also received a call. Uh, an honor and some organization called me and said, Hey Gary, hey, somebody nominate you to take up in a design award uh, because your design is good and all this. So uh. I said, No, this sounds like dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, for those, uh, you know, uh, uh, award yeah. branding one, they yeah. ask you to pay 2000 yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, No, uh, thank you very much. So so I continue to do Then from online interview, become uh, 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 they, they flew in crews like BBC, Japan TV, oh my uh, God. CNN, start coming to do live mm. interview and I was like, wow, so scared, you know, like, uh. oh, I don't know whether to say the right thing <laughs> or the wrong thing, you know, and then from there, that's where, I mean, I'm not bragging, but one day I can do four live interview because it's like <laughs> repeated, uh, 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 rec broken records, uh, yeah. you know, by reporting, so from there, that's where uh, uh, I said, hey, the time that I remember somebody called me up uh, about the, the, the this this uh, award mm. thing, you know, I don't know whether it's legit. So I go and went through the email and searched the email. And then when I searched through the email, I go and search the website. Yeah. Oh, this is an organization that's legit, but not, not those fake ones because got government, you know, part, got all the different property, architects, yeah. developers, you know, uh, Dell, Philip. So I said, it's not quite real, la. and it's not bad la. since you know, I, I just took part in the, the design award. Uh. So I took part, you know, then they say, oh, congratulations, one, one, say, hey, you won the award. I said, hey, if I got one, at least one you know, award <laughs> endorsement, I'm happy, you know. Uh. So we were invited to go for the gala dinner. Mm. So, they, okay, now they say you will go for your second screening. So I said, second screening? No, la. I look at the winning list uh, about... 70, eh, 70 over of them. So yeah. I said, sure cannot win one. Uh, so uh, I don't want to waste the, the second round money. Uh, he said, oh, cannot. Second round must do one. Once you qualify the first round, you read the fine print, you must do it. Well, I said, wow, well, I'm cheated. Eh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, mm. you know, 
I last two days before the, the actual presentation, I said, okay, la, I'll do it. La. So, me and my brother in law, we, we, we took the uh, printout of, of uh, the, the, the presentation. You know. yeah. I wrote it, I went to go and present. Uh, you know. So, I thought it was a very casual thing. I just went there and present. Well, I saw those. Philip Dell computer guys, architect wearing suit jackets. Oh my god! Cleaning the keyboard, cleaning the monitor, doing the presentation. I said, "Wow, this looks very stressed." You know? yeah. I never had this kind of presentation since uni time. You know, yeah. so I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, man! I never prepared myself." But anyway, I go through it. I go through it. I went there. I did the presentation. Hmm. Yeah. I went inside. I can see that all the judges are, are like, "What is this guy doing?" You know? like, How come not? Never respect the occasion. Wear yeah. like jeans and t-shirt and present. Yeah. And we got wrote, wrote a one paper. So I presented. I said, "Shit, man! I could have done better. I could have prepared myself, but I didn't expect it was like that." Yeah. So the next day morning, I woke up about nine something. I checked my phone. Mm. Shit. They say the organizer say the the judges want to visit your showroom. Yeah. I like oh shit. Nine o'clock already. And the message was at eight o'clock. <laughs> then when I checked the next message, he said, "Oh, don't worry, we came. Mm. Uh, your nephew show us, uh, and uh, we are leaving already." I said, "Oh, okay, not not bad. At least got a chance." But I said, I, if I present it, maybe I can present it more with emotions and yeah. into it. Maybe yeah. it's better." So I said, "Okay, never mind." Then when we went for the award night, mm. they were rehearsal. Uh, okay, after first group, then the second group, then the third group, and fourth group. So I was the third group. So all of us queue up. And then for the third group, after second group, then they start calling the names and all this. Then until my name, they never call. They say, oh. oh, sorry, you don't have your name. So the worst part is that we treat that gala as my appreciation dinner to my architect, my banker, and my builder. Uh. So we we book one table and now I spend quite a fair bit, you know. But uh. but I thought what better occasion is to thank everybody with a what. Your name is not there. They like, hey, where's your award? I said, wow, don't have my name. Don't have my name. I said, wow, very sad story, you know. Wow, you know, no award, ah. So he said, wow, long, long queue, ah. What is that? I was a bit angry, but while talking, we still continue the conversation. Towards the ending part, they announced Autobahn Motors Go Award. Wow, 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 I went up to collect the prize, and guess who is the platinum award? Uh. Changi Airport Terminal Four. Wow! Oh. <laughs> 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 so with, with that, you know, I get, I get the impression. Hey, maybe I got design sense, and, and uh. so I, I, I got, I got, you know, uh. a bit more, more uh, capability, lah. You know, so of course we are like-minded friends, like Apa and all this. We come talking about it. So we actually have this place. In fact, it's supposed to be our first branch. Showroom, mm. but when we bought over this place about fifteen years ago, mm. you know, or maybe now about sixteen years ago, when we took the key with my brother, came here, I came my brother, I said, hey, this place is more than just a car showroom. It has the Times Square layout. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I remember in the nineties when yeah. I was schooling, I went to the Times Square countdown. Mm. Although it's cold, with the countdown effect, uh, the feeling is so good. Mm. So I tell my brother, let's make a Times Square. Show. Wow. And that was 15 years ago, but because it's challenging, LED content creations, everything is so challenging. Yeah, I decided to put a plug. So this is my so-called bucket list that I never managed to. Do oh. It. So after getting the award, because of that, the vending machine, after the the social media, after you know, you know, meeting more people, I say this time I want to do it. But how I do it, I want to use my. More knowledge and more network to build it. So yeah. that's why we built like a vending machine, but on the same time we built like a car, uh, like like a what called the lemma of good. Mm -hmm. So we want to use media yeah. to promote and mind change uh, 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 corporates. So not only just pay a million dollar to tell the whole world that I'm very good. Mm -hmm. Why don't you 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 repurpose and, and make it become a community and all this? And Ten Square want to be the first volunteer resources to sponsor. Our venue and our billboard to uh, brainstorm together, to hack together, to innovate together, to build community together, mm. and also to bring car community. You now there are many many car community. I mean, of course, also 
not not limited to Singapore, Malaysia, and all this. Yeah. We bring people together, and yeah. when we bring people together, there is a lot of things to collide and and, and 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 innovate and solve. So we want to mind change. When we have a car club, you know, mm. since I'm in the car business, I want to influence that when we do car club. We also think about how we can help the community, how we can bring experience to the underprivileged community. You know, mm-hmm. so like we we have been organizing uh, uh, through our meaningful Sunday initiative, like classic car drive. So we ask those uh, uh, MPOs they are serving the seniors, you know, to come in. We promote like like healthy exercise. We bring goodie bags. We bring uh-huh. car community <coughs> come together, mm. and then we let them have an experience to go. Classic car drives, and then come back and 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 see the smiles in all these older people. You know? Yeah. And I think what goes around comes around. You know, that's that's very important. And together with Pao and Michael, they all we also did with Fullerton because Fullerton was their serving client. Yeah. So we did like National Day. We have organized classic car drive from oh. the previous uh, car vending machine, the first car vending. Mm. We drove them. And, and and go around the town and then bring them to Fullerton and let them watch. National Day so nice. and a premium rooftop that a lot of seniors don't even have a chance over the past sixty years to do that. So it's <coughs> something that we continue to hack on it, continue to leverage on each other's resources yeah. to build up the capability of it. So this is something that Ten Square love to do, and we love to inspire more community like-minded players or, or car clubs to come into the same bandwidth. That it's all. Creating values and creating experience, you know, and, yeah. and this is something that I experienced it over the last uh, yesterday. You know, I see how we build community together and all this, but we think a bit further. You know, mm. how we partner with the MPOs and all this, and bring in the corporates because end of day the corporates also want to do their CSR, their ESG. Mm. But how we as a car club that is very Instagrammable group. That how we bring this community into the car clubs um, and and community and also into a corporate community and the beneficiary community and bring an ecosystem. So this is ten square wish list, and we hope that you know we we hang out with like minded stakeholders like you, and then we continue to do this not only in Singapore but any part of the world. Yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That surprised me. Oh. <laughs> So anybody's uh, credit card ready? I'm not stopping you. Limit the credit card limit is about ten thousand. Don't worry. Uh, Pao is coming out with a new application called uh, Buy Now Pay Later. <laughs> it's quite fast. Pao sell. Pao sell. Pao sell. Pao buy. Pao sell. Pao sell. Pao sell. Pao sell. Pao sell. It was so impressive. They they were playing a video of this car, and then. We all of us were caught surprised because we were enjoying the video, you know, yeah. the music and all that, the piano, and all of a sudden, this car just quietly and and rapidly just whisked down. It it surprised everybody, and just look, it's, it's it's majestic. So there's a difference between just building a car showroom or just putting a screen. But what uh, Gary is doing is basically integrating this, making use of. You know, technology, but in a meaningful manner that adds towards the experience. And of course, we joke that you know, when the car rolls down, the credit card machine comes down together. But 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 that's the this is just this just you know. But imagine you are sitting here in the dark in darkness, and then you you watch the video. You were so impressed with the beauty of this Mercedes Benz 500k. At first, I thought it's a Mercedes SSK. SSK has three tubes on the side on each side. This one only has one. So it's a 500k, and uh, we were watching that, and then the car just whisked down and without sound. Usually, we thought this kind of system would have a lot of sound, you know, metal clinging, and then motors running. But from inside this room, it was completely quiet. Amaze. Okay, I just wanna look at. Oh, where? Oh, come, let's go. Ah. Thank you. Whoa! I went to Auto Start before the the Right. They are billion dollar company. But I cannot go in and stand like this. Uh.
Amazing. Uh. So from day one, it was envisioned to be integrated with yeah. a system yeah. to give people this experience. Yeah, yeah. So this one was supposed to be able to turn one, right? It's just it's that here, not enough room. My land is too small. I see. Unfortunately, I cannot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The next Super one is the cool. newer one. Right. Older one. This older one. This is the newer one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Older one is the double. Double. Double, double yeah. one, right? The one that is uh, the interview uh, one. Yeah. Uh, the interview one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the newer this one. This is a new kid. New kid. This, kid. <laughs> this, this location is very nice. Yeah. The this one has a location. Amazing, right? And the car park is yours. Yeah. Right? The car park is behind. This no, the car This mechanism is. Well, Absolutely quiet. So just now when we saw when we saw the Mercedes 500 k came down at such a speed, I'll, I'll demonstrate the speed that it comes down. I mean, for something like that, right? We would have expected it to go like, come, come. No, it was seamless. It just goes down like like this speed, and it shocked all of us, you know. So. And of course, in my mind, is my first question would be, wow, this lift system is amazing. And all of us in our minds are thinking like, is it German? And, and Gary was like, yeah, he tried the... He, he mentioned basically the Korean system, the Japan system, they're all very noisy. This system is by China. Yeah, amazing. Uh, we just went in and, and visited uh, the second tower that Gary built. It's called uh, Ten Square, and uh, it's it's really nice to 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 hear the story behind of how it conceptualized, and then um, and then what he that's Theophilus Chin, and and to to <laughs> nice. wanted to close off the road and do something beneficial to to basically benefit the community the the old folks here the needy community because um, the, the screen and the, the activities and the car community that can be gathered with this, right, actually can, can do a larger good by, you know, uh, combining the, the, the different, different car community and to, and through something like this, right, it can, it can help to do more good for society. So that's his ultimate goal. And um, and it's something that, that that means something to him as well. He hoped it can be, it can it can turn into something that 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 there's a continuity to it, uh, which which I highly applaud. I mean, I I I really want. Uh, I I think I'm after the same goal as well. Like we are all like-minded enthusiasts. We're all car lovers. We want something that that. That links us together, and it can be about cars. But as as time goes by, it's about a friendship because people, the like-minded people, right? And we we tend to click better. And there are things that we would be doing anyway, right? We we like we we, we want to go places, and since we're thinking of places to go, why can't we go places that, in a way, the notion of us gathering together, going somewhere, actually results in some people being benefited by by the presence of, of something that was, by, by a party that was able to bring all these people together and combine the, the, the resources to do good. And yeah, I think that's, that's, that's something really, really good.
This place has been in construction perpetually. Uh. How long has it been? Anyway. Yep.因为之前我们住的地方它是一栋空洞来的准准就在一个海位的旁边最大的不一样就是它比较安静环境优美又安全这空气也很好在外国的感觉梦想中的一个地方对这里环境真的是比外面的好很多很多 Just I really like the environment and ecobotanic I can feel the environment here is Quite perfect, I would say. 有很多小朋友啊，大朋友啊，在这里。我每天早上在外面跑来跑去的嘛. I walk my dogs every afternoon. 这是一个非常适合孕育下一代的环境。就每每天早晚小狗都会在草坪上去撒欢的去跑，他们是小朋友最开心的时候，跟小狗一块。是無意間在刷Facebook的時候看到這個廣告 I really like like the nature and I would like to capture like this moment 這樣我就躺在那邊我就順著看見 我搬来这里两年多，我都没有说过。但是我觉得说就是OK啊，你知道吗？因为呃，保安什么都很好，CCTV很多。Security okay guards are very nice, they are friendly. 每次看见你一直跟你Hello morning, morning 这样子咯。有时候我们忘记锁门，那个guy一定会叮咚我出去关。这里自然很好，大家都很善良啊，你知道吗？就是。不认识的人遇到彼此都会互相打招呼 Also some nice people around me, some nice neighbor And I also made friends with them 他们经常都会来我家看我家的狗啊 或者是帮忙我照顾我的家 周末都会来这里因为它有很多食物可以选择 就有时候会来这边跟家人吃个饭或者是跟女朋友来咖啡一下然后又有大学我以后孩子读书完全不用担心都会跟朋友说就是这里的环境很好然后我还跟他讲再做回邻居我已经推荐了<笑><笑> N 百个朋友了 你知道在外面非常吵闹的那些生活节奏里面，然后突然间来到这里的时候，你就觉得说心就非常的安，然后在这边都很安静，就是可以呃推荐给所有的人。Ecobotanic是我会想要生活的地方。Ecobotanic是